Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> I really like carpets, but on cold, dry days, this usually happens to me. That's static electricity. Did you know lightning is the exact same thing, but on a much grander scale? Inside a storm cloud, there are a lot of collisions occurring between small bits of ice, and this generates a lot of static electricity. Light positively charged particles migrate toward the top of the cloud and the heavier negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. When these positive and negative charges build up to a point that air can no longer electrically insulate these two oppositely charged regions, lightning is generated within the cloud. Most lightning happens inside a cloud, but when a buildup of positive charge occurs on the ground beneath the cloud, Lightning can occur between the cloud and the ground. No one knows why lightning forms a zigzag path, but scientists do know where the sound of thunder comes from. Lightning is about one inch wide and extremely hot. Since lightning travels so fast inside the cloud, or between the cloud and the ground, the superheated air has no time to expand. This heated air can be a hundred times greater than atmospheric pressure. The super hot air explodes outward like a bomb all along the channel where the lightning passed and forms a shock wave in every direction. Like any explosion, a loud booming burst of noise occurs. Since light travels a million times faster than sound, we always see lightning before hearing thunder. In fact, every five seconds between lightning and thunder corresponds to about one mile of distance from where the lightning occurred. We can see some of these properties of lightning with Dr. Smith's spark generator. The charge builds up on the terminals of the spark generator as Dr. Smith rotates the knob, increasing the voltage until finally enough opposite charge exists on each terminal post that a spark is generated between the terminals. You can hear sparks because just like with lightning, the air where the spark traveled is so hot it does not have time to expand and simply explodes outward with a burst of noise. This is actually thunder, but on a miniature scale. Notice how as the distance between the posts gets smaller, the sparks become more frequent. Not as much charge is necessary to be built up to generate short sparks. But as the gap increases, the sparks become less frequent because more charge is needed to be built up in order to overcome the insulating properties of air. You can also use static buildup of charge to make a stream of water move. While Dr. Smith is rubbing this balloon on my fur, charge is being removed from my fur and onto the balloon. When he places the charged balloon by stream of water, the water moves. This happens because water is a polar molecule, meaning that different sides of the water molecule have a different charge. So when a charged object like a balloon is placed next to a stream of water, the water moves. You can do the same thing with a PVC pipe. This is a one inch inner diameter pipe. Now Dr. Smith is trying a two inch inner diameter plastic pipe. The larger diameter pipe appears to hold more charge because it seems to push the water stream even more. Humidity is the enemy of static electricity. You might have to wait for a dry winter day for this to work for you. You will need a scissors and a plastic vegetable or fruit bag from the supermarket. Cut a narrow ring from the bag. Dr. Smith is now placing charge on a two inch inner diameter PVC pipe by rubbing the pipe on a cotton towel. When he tosses the plastic ring over the charged pipe, it levitates.
you can do the same thing using a balloon if you do not have PVC pipe. Let's review. Lightning is caused by a buildup of static electrical charge created within a cloud by ice particles rubbing and colliding with each other. Lightning is a static electrical discharge that occurs mostly within a cloud and sometimes between the cloud and the ground. You can't have thunder without lightning.